Hey guys, welcome back to Book Room Me with Mia, and today we're going to be reading another book. Today is another Valentine's Day theme book, and it's called Love Splat. And the cool thing about the front cover, whatever it's called, <laughs> I think front cover, like, you can, like, scrape it, I don't know, there's, like, this texture. You guys see it? And it's, like, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> And our guests today are Fluffball. She's a bunny and she's super soft. And then we have Camila. She's a poodle, a dog. And then we have Sugar. She's a monkey, a pink monkey. My favorite types of monkeys out there. I hope you guys enjoy Love Splat. Oh, there's a little mouse over there. There's Splat sitting on the bench. Love Splat. Splat stared into the bathroom mirror. A worried Splat stared back. His heart drummed and his tummy rumbled. Oh, it's Splat. He's looking in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the most handsome cat of all? <laughs> And there's the little mouse. Me, I'm the most handsome cat of all. But you're not a cat. Yeah, sugar. She might be a cat under disguise. He straightened his whiskers, ruffled his fur, and brushed his teeth. Today he wanted to look just right. After all, today was Valentine's Day. There he is, brushing his teeth. And there's mouse again. Splat had made cards for everyone in his class, and he also made a special card for a certain cat in his class. Hmm, who do you think that is? Me! But you're not a cat, sugar. Yes, I am. I'm secretly a cat. See? I'm a cat. No, you're not. There he is making all the cards. Kitten. She had snowy white paws and pea green eyes, and Splat liked her more than fish sticks and ice cream. Ew, that's disgusting. What's. Ice cream isn't disgusting. No, but fish sticks with ice cream. Probably. But whenever a kitten saw Splat, she pulled his ears and poked his belly, tied his tail, and called him smelly. Then she'd run away. Oh, there his ears are being pulled. His belly's being poked. His tail's tied. And he's sniffing. Why does she do that, Splat side? Seymour shook his head. Oh, so that must be Seymour. Splat practiced his smile one last time and left the bathroom. His family wished him a very good morning. There's his family. Oh my god, the dad's so tall. Same as the mom. He ignored his breakfast and gazed at a little red envelope. On the front of the envelope, in Splat's very best writing, was a single name. Kitten. Ooh, someone's in love. Stop it, Camila. Splat tucked the envelope in his bag and left for school. His tumble... Tommy rumbled loudly all the way. He was so busy telling his tummy to be quiet that he didn't see Kitten coming around the corner. Splat, he bumped into her. Oh, it's like Splat, get it? Like his name and they spot it together. And when he tried to say sorry, his tongue turned to jelly. His legs wobbled like rubber. And his tummy rumbled louder than ever. This happened every time he saw Kitten. Kitten gave Splat a funny look. Then she pulled his ears and poked his belly, tied his tail, and called him Smelly, and ran away. <clears throat> Looks like she's having fun doing it. Why does she do that, he sighed. Seymour shook his head. Later in cat school, all the class swapped their valentines. Splat sat at his desk, clutching the little red envelope. I'll give it to her soon, he said to Seymour. But soon, it was recess. Look at all of them. They're smiling. Look at his teeth. He looks like a grandpa. 
This guy's missing some teeth and this guy has braces. Oh my god. These cats gotta take care of your te their teeth better. Splat sat quietly on a bench, still clutching the little red envelope. He didn't see the cat sneaking up behind him. Who do you think it w it's gonna be? Boo! cried Spike. Oh, that's Spike. I actually didn't know who he was. Splat jumped and dropped the little red envelope. Spike picked it up and read the name on the front. I like Kitten too, Spike announced, and I like her more than you do. Ooh, not this. But I like Kitten this much, said Splat. And I like her this much, said Spike. You see, that's like about, that's the same amount. Oh, wait, never mind. Since his arms are uh, longer. Aww, ground Splat. Splat pulled a piece of chalk from his pocket and drew her on the ground. I like Kitten this much, he said. And I like kitten this much, said Spike. And he drew a heart around the whole playground. Oh, grunt splat. Oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> he even drew on the cat. Poor cat. I made kitten a special Valentine card, Splat said. You call that a card, Spike said smugly. There's, there's his card with kitten. Aw, grown Splat, it's not fair. Seymour shook his head. Splat's card looked teeny-weeny next to Spike's, and with a sigh, he threw it in the trash. Kenna opened Spike's card. The message inside read, You are so lucky that I like you. Kenna smiled. Splat didn't, and he turned away. Aw, poor Splat. Splat didn't see the snowy white pots so lift the little red envelope from the trash. Or the pea green eyes read the name on the front. Kenan took the card from the envelope and opened it. In Splat's very best writing were three little words I like you. Oh, that's cute. His handwriting is really good. I think it's even better than mine. Kenan sat down next to Splat and gave him a little pink envelope. All the name was a single name Splat. Splat opened the envelope. And on the card was a rhyme. Your fur is soft and I like to stroke it. You make a silly noise in your belly when I poke it. Your tail's so bendy it makes me laugh. And you smile really nice when you've just had a bath. Oh, uh, there's the little card and it has Splat and Kitten. Inside the card, in Kitten's very best writing, were three little words. I like you. It said the I has a heart over there. There's Splat smiling. And then at the end, now there's Splat and Kitten sitting together on the bench with the umbrella. And before, if you look at the front here, it's just him by himself. And that is the end of Love Splat. But also there's something extra. On the back, you see Splat's tail and Kitten's tail and they form a heart together. I hope you enjoyed the Love Splat as much as we did. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below what other books you want me to read, and if you want me to read the other series with it. Now it's time to say bye. Aww. Bye. 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 Bye.